Hiya, my name is Pete and I'm going to show you how to play the new untitled song by Ben Howard which I've called Rooks just so it has a working title. Um, ben has described the song as being about shooting rooks in the garden. Charming. Um, if you've played in dreams, if you've learned how to play in dreams then you'll find learning this song quite straightforward because the main right hand picking pattern is very similar to what's used in in dreams. And if you haven't learned in dreams, then once you've learned this song, you'll find it quite straightforward to go and learn in dreams. Because the picking pattern's the same, mainly. Okay, the tuning. Let's crack on. The tuning. This song is played in dadgad with no capo. So, you've got D, A, D again, G, A, and then, oops. D at the top. Now you're only going to use the strings six, five, four, and three to play this song. The the other two strings aren't aren't used. So you're focusing on six, five, four, and three. Now probably the first thing to look at is that main right hand pattern that's used for most of this. So don't put anything on the fretboard yet. Just cover the sixth string with your thumb, and then fifth string with index. Um, middle st uh, finger is going to cover the fourth string and then the third string is going to get covered by your ring finger. And so for the majority of this song you're going to be plucking six, pause, five, four, six, three, six, five, like that. Now, um, if you put um, if you put your your middle finger on the left hand on the sixth string third fret, and then your ring finger on the fifth string third fret, and then your little finger on the fourth string third fret, and your index finger on the third string second fret, you've got that major chord shape which is used various positions up the neck. So if you just try that right hand picking pattern, six, pause, five, four, six, three, six, five, six, pause, um, five, four, six, three, six, five, I'll play it slowly, six, pause, five, four, six, three, six, five, like that. So I would really recommend practicing that right hand pattern and getting that really, really fluid and you can do it without thinking about it. You can hold the conversation at the same time. And once you get to that stage, it'll be much easier to progress with the rest of the song. Okay, so the introduction, the introduction, now I've, I've listened to the way Ben's played this on several live recordings and to be honest I think he's pretty much busking it every time he plays it so there's there's all sorts of subtle little variations going on. Sometimes he's sort of crossing over the picking up, uh, the picking pattern, um, sometimes I think he's thrown in a bit of Travis picking. So I'm going to show you what I did for my cover so that if, if you sort of look at that and match it to this it will make sense. So what I think Ben is doing is he's playing Two beats of the bar are that that sort of in dreams picking pattern we'll call it. So these six pause five four six three six five, and then the next two beats of the bar, so the next the next eight notes. This is in bar one. The right hand is basically shifting to a Travis picking pattern, still using those first four strings. So I subtly move my index and middle finger down the strings so that they're covering strings four and three and my thumb's going to work strings six and five so I'm playing six three five four six three five four and that's thumb middle thumb index six three five four so the first beat the first bar we've got um, strings six five and four all held down on the second fret with the third string open using middle ring and a little finger. 
So in dreams pattern to start with. Then slide up to the third fret, but fret the third string on the second fret with your index finger. And that's into the Travis pattern now. Keep that shape and slide so that you're covering mainly the fifth fret, fourth fret, third string with your index finger. And we're back into the in dreams pattern now. And we're going to slide again to the seventh fret, covering fifth fret with the index finger on the third string. And again, we're into the Travis pattern now. So we're playing six, three, five, four, six, three, five, four. And then we slide again. Now this shape's a little bit awkward. You're going to move your middle finger to the ninth fret, sixth string. Ring and little finger are on the tenth fret, strings five and four. And your index finger is on the seventh fret, third string. So you've got that. That's the shape. And I found it if I brought my elbow, I've talked about this before, if I bring my elbow to the to my body like that and I find it slightly easier just to sort of rock the fingers back a bit and that allows me to get a little bit more reach between my index finger and the rest of the fingers there. And that's the in dreams pattern. So six, pause, five, four, six, three, six, five, like that. And then we're going to just subtly move your middle finger up to the 10th fret to meet all the others. So six, five, four are all on the 10th fret. And then you're, this is a bit of a squeeze is this, your index fingers on the third string, ninth fret. Still on in the in dreams pattern. Now, if, if you're having trouble getting those, those middle ring and little finger to cover that 10th fret because it's a pretty narrow gap. If you put all your fingers next to each other and try and do it, you find that A, your hand's in an awkward place to try and fret it, and B, it just seems like there's too much width. So what you need to do is, is sort of stack your fingers one behind the other. Okay, and then if you put them on, that works. And the other thing is as well is, because it's a narrow fret, you can get away with your middle finger being close to the, the back of the fret, and your little finger can be almost on the fret wire. You, know, you sort of experiment how far forward you can move that little finger before it starts to either change pitch or just sound a bit horrible. So if you can stack your fingers like that, but it's, it's going to hurt a bit, I'll be honest, until you get used to it. So you've got the in dreams pattern going there, and then uh, there's a subtle variation. This is the fifth bar. And what, what I'm doing here is I'm plucking six, pause, five, and then I'm moving my little finger down to the third string, 10th fret, doing a pull off there, 10 to nine, six, five, six, like that. And then back into the in dreams pattern. So I've got dreams pattern and then I just take my hand off and let that sixth string ring open as I go back down and do the pattern again so this is the introduction from bar one all the way played slowly in dreams pattern Travis picking Awkward 10 9 shape, still on in dreams. And in dreams again, 10th fret. Fifth bar, pull off. Travis um, in dreams again. Let it go open and.
second time round, or the second repeat, labelled bar six, you just enter the in dreams pattern again. And from here onwards, it's pretty much the in dreams pattern all the way. So after you've come out of that introduction, now we're gonna work through the, the shapes, still using the in dream pattern, but just one, um, one sequence of picking for each chord shape. So the first one is down to the seventh fret. So seven, seven, seven on string six, five, and four, and then um, third string, fifth fret with your index. And you slide onto that. So once you've been doing, slide down to the seventh, and then slide down to the five, four shape. That's five, five, five on string six, five, and four, and then fourth fret using your index finger with the third string. And then run all the way up to the 10th fret. And then all the way down to the third fret. And the, the relative position of my left hand is, is varying very little. It's that, it's that, oops. It's that major shape apart from the seventh on the on the seventh fret with string third string on the fifth fret. That's a minor sound. So you've got yeah, minor, major, major. So um, fifth fret up to the tenth fret, third fret, back to the seventh fret. 5th fret, up to the 10th fret, now if you work on the introduction and get that really nailed down the rest of the song will very quickly fall into place. The only other bit that's, that's really different is the start of each verse where you've got this sort of um, run up through the shapes and these are, these are quite easy. You just hold down the string six, five, and four, first of all on the second fret, then the third fret, then the fifth, then the seventh, and then it's that nine, ten, ten shape. You don't have to worry about that index finger because you're only using string six, five, and four for this bit. So nine, ten, ten, and then ten, ten, ten as you go into the so what we have is this then, this is bar uh, 12 and this is where he's, he's coming in with the vocal. So you've got Bird's tree lost its branch one day in violent winter back into in dreams. So the, the emphasis is sort of, um, it's like one, two, three, 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 in dreams, like that. I said it was grieving, you said it don't feel nothing. So I think the second the second bit of vocal where there's that, that run up going, it's it's a bit strange um, because it's not exactly the same timing. First time you've got Birch Tree lost its branch one day in wildest straight into in dreams winter. I said it was dreaming, you said it don't feel nothing. See how there's that extra, uh, this is bar 15. I said it was dreaming, you said it don't feel nothing. And then you've got that same sort of seven, five, ten, three shape going on. I bet, oops, hang on. I bet you think everything's in its rightful place. That sentiment is man's disgrace. Yeah, that's seven down to five, up to ten down to three, and seven down to five, back to ten. That's obviously not the lyrics. So then you go around for like the, the second verse bit with um, well the rooks in the trees they don't have bother me 
Oh, it hurt my mind with every given opportunity It's spring a five in a terrible third fret And that something or other clattering sound now this is the bit where it's a little bit different and I've labelled this as the bridge on the tab so we're looking at bar 23 into 24 Stuff it you said You should shoot them down So um, This is coming out of the 10th fret You're still on that in dreams pattern again Ben, ben sings something else, it's kind of rude and I'm not really in a position to be swearing all over YouTube if I'm honest. So we're gonna we're gonna say stuff it. Okay. Um, stuff it you said seven five said said you should shoot fifth fret, shoot them down. Now this bit's a bit different. So normally when you're on the third fret, you're holding down the third string second fret because it's that it's that major shape again. But we're going to take our index finger off, and we'll be hammering it back on towards the end of the 25th bar. So this is the 25th bar then. So it's it's like the in dreams pattern still. Six, five, four, six, three, six, five, six, five, four, six, three, six, five. So as you're as you're playing the sixth string for the last time in the bar, you're hammering on with the second fret like that. So, after you've done a few of those... So, hey, that's me. So that's bar uh, 27 and 28, and that's just the 5th fret shape going up to the 7th fret shape. So, hey, still in dreams pattern, that's me. To the 10th fret, shooting at a hundred year old rockery, and down to that 9 10 7 shape. Rockery. Now, th this next bit is a little bit ambiguous, and I've listened to Ben play it, and I'm not sure he's played it the same way twice. He's also uh, he's experimenting with the vocal. I'm, I'm almost of a mind that he's not quite decided what he wants the vocal tune to be there, that the melody keeps fluctuating, he sort of ad-libs it when he's in the moment. I'm almost thinking he's not quite decided the chords himself there. So again, I'm going to show you what I've got from my cover that I, I sort of toyed around with it and worked out what I thought sounded nicest, should we say. From bar 27 then, we've got this. So hey, that's me, 7th fret, shooting at a hundred year old rookery. That awkward 9 10 shape. Oh, look at me. It's bar 31, you're down to 5 4 shape. Oh, look at me. The 7th fret, and the 3rd fret, and the 5th fret. Okay. The definition of utility. That's what she said to me. And you've got that. 3rd fret with the hammer on to the 2nd fret on the 3rd string. That's what she said anyway. So that's bars sort of 34, 35, 36-ish. Um, yeah. So from the definition of futility, this is bar 32. Um, so 7th fret, down to the 3rd fret, and back to the 5th fret. The definition of futility. And you, you can sort of pause in these shapes and just till you're ready to move on to the next bit of the lyric. That's what she said anyway. I think on the tab I've sort of put the minimal amount of time you could stay on any one shape before you move on to the um, onto the next bit of next bit of the song just so it doesn't ramble on more than the 
six pages, which is currently taking. Um, okay, and, and then as you come into the sort of the last verse, out of that. So when you're ready, it's into that. shape again okay so I go back to working through the gentle hours of the evening it's bar 37 what was that so um, so second fret third fret fifth fret seventh fret nine and tenth fret and the tenth fret like that where the second fret third fret fifth fret seventh fret tenth ninth fret treats me to the tenth fret there we go where the weather and the wine and the company treats me easily. Still on the in dreams pattern there. And then the sort of the finish is that seven, five, ten, three sequence again. Which is um unknowing am I of the wind that took my eye. Unknowing am I of the wind. Remember to slide in your transitions. On the seventh fret and five to the tenth fret down to the third, and the seventh fret down to the fifth up to the tenth. Unknowing am I of the wind that took my high. Unknowing am I of the wind. And just finish on a sustained note on the sixth string, tenth fret. Okay. Right, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you can play in Dreams, you'll learn this pretty quick. And if you can't play in Dreams and you learn this, then go and have a look at In Dreams because it's well within your uh, your reach. Um, I think I can still play it. Um, <laughs> If you've liked this video do remember to click on like and subscribe if you want to see more guitar goodies if you're going to my website to look for the tab for this i'm currently rebuilding my website it's a long story but my existing provider well my old provider was costing me <laughs> an arm and a leg and so i've changed my hosting to some very nice people at eco hosting and uh, it's costing me a lot less to do pretty much the same thing I just need a little bit of time to rebuild the pages and move the tab files so all the links are there and uh, yeah so if, you, if you're enjoying all this please subscribe it just helps and I will see you soon with another cover and another tutorial I have just about worked out bird on the wing as well so that's coming soon okay I'll see you next time cheers then bye <laughs>